One of this country's great mysteries began 75 years ago last summer, as Americans learned that Amelia Earhart was missing. The famous pilot's plane was last seen over the Pacific Ocean. Well, this past summer, as Lee Cowan reports, an expedition began the search for her aircraft once again. Aviation's leading lady, Miss Amelia Earhart. She was a daredevil with the wings of an angel, a pioneer who embodied the pure romance of flying. But she embodied the danger of it, too. 75 years ago, Amelia Earhart climbed into her Lockheed Electra and with her navigator, Fred Noonan, disappeared somewhere over the Pacific. The story of a brave woman of the air enters a shroud of mystery. For her to vanish without a trace at the height of all that fame, was then and is now inconceivable to some. Take Rick Gillespie. Was it that she simply crashed at sea and sank without a trace? Or was there a whole chapter that we've never known about? He's a part-time horseman who's actually a full-time missing airplane detective. He founded the International Group for Historic Aircraft Recovery. 25 years of research finally turned up this. A long forgotten photo that he says may show the holy grail in the Earhart puzzle, a piece of the aviator's plane. The components of this image match the shape and dimensions of elements in the landing gear of a Lockheed Electra. That picture was taken in 1937 off Gardner Island, now called Nicomaroro. But that was more than 300 miles to the southeast of where Earhart was supposed to land, tiny Howland Island. Both were needles in a floating haystack. Fuel is running low. Her mysterious disappearance was the stuff of Hollywood. But to Dorothy Cochran, a curator at the National Air and Space Museum, there's no mystery. She says she simply ran out of gas and drowned. At the end of the day, where did she go down? I believe that she went down somewhere to the northwest of Howland Island. I think she, they were fairly close, unfortunately. But Rick Gillespie thinks in her effort to find Howland, she stumbled on Nicomaroro instead and managed to make an emergency landing and then waited for the help that never came. I mean, if what you're saying is the case, it was probably a far worse end than crashing into the ocean. Oh, yeah. Living and dying on that island uh, is not a good way to go, no. Proof Earhart survived, he says, came in weak radio signals heard after her disappearance. Most were cruel hoaxes. But he says a teenager named Betty Clank was so convinced that she heard Earhart on her shortwave radio that she wrote every word she heard in her journal. She's now 91 years old and still swears it was Earhart's voice. What really got Betty about what she heard was the, were the tones in the voice of the people she was hearing. Panic? Panic, extreme anxiety, anguish. It haunted her. There's other evidence too, although he admits it's all circumstantial. Fragments of bone and the heel of a woman's shoe were both found on Nicomaroro back in 1940. Years later, Gillespie returned to that same site and found more. Bottles of hand lotion and freckle ointment dating from the 1930s. Even a zipper from what could be a flight suit. It tells a story. It tells a story of an American woman of the 1930s who's trying and has failed to survive on that island. But I think critics would say that that could be anybody's and it could be just oh, yeah. the remnants of... Yeah, it could be anybody. Who? That's my reply to that. Who? The artifacts that he found are all collateral pieces of civilization. Nothing that can be directly tied to Amelia. Coast Guard cutters and Navy ships and planes are rushing to their aid. Among and what about that massive search, the largest of its kind at the time? Why wouldn't they have seen a plane when they did the flyover? Because by the time they got there, the plane had been washed over the edge of the reef into the surf zone, obscured by the surf. Nobody would see it. Maybe the answer to this 75-year-old mystery is indeed just off that reef, resting in a thousand feet of water. This week, Gillespie and his team will use side-scan sonar and underwater robots to look for what, if anything, is left of Earhart's plane, including that landing gear, if indeed that's what was in the picture in the first place. This is the biggest thing we've ever done. We'll either find something or we won't. It won't change what Earhart accomplished, but it could finally put her to rest.
I'm always amazed how mysteries like that continue yes. to hold our oh, fascination. Right? Mm -hmm. One plot. movie after another, one book after another. Yeah. One. And still not a real conclusive answer, still. No. So the plot thickens. I love his line where he said, whose could it be? Who? Who? Yeah. 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 Who? You know, tell me. Yeah, I'd like to know. <laughs>